Hi guys, welcome to my channel and my very first YouTube video. My name is Maya and today, since 2019 just begun, I thought it might be fun to reflect and look back at some of my favorite products from 2018. So I picked out some products. I'm gonna try to not make this video too long so I'll condense it as much as I can. But if you'd like to find out some of my favorite products from last year, please keep watching. So I've divided the products into three categories, complexion, eyes and lips. So I'm just going to go through each category and list some of my favorite products. Starting out with complexion, I have quite a few highlighters and I don't think the first one is going to surprise too many of you. It's the Amrezy Highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I absolutely love this one. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can see the glow, but I really like it. Um, it looks like this. Please excuse how dirty the packaging is. You can tell I've used it quite a bit. This one honestly intimidated me a little bit at first because as you can tell I am quite fair skinned and I thought it might look too gold on me because I mean it looks very gold in the packaging. But I can safely say that it is pale girl friendly, so it doesn't look too ridiculous. No one has said anything to me yet, but I really like it. The next one is by Fenty. So this one is the Minted Mojito and Sandcastle Kilowatt Foil Highlighter. And it looks like this. To be completely honest with you, I don't use this one as a highlighter. Maybe I should have included this in eyes. I use this as eyeshadow. Like I said, I am quite fair skinned, so these shades, this one is too dark on me and this one just looks really green on me. But as eyeshadows, really good. This one here is really nice, even if you just want like a bit of pop of color and you don't want it to be too extreme, you can just wear that and a little bit of mascara and it's really beautiful. And then this one is just a really nice bronzy shade. And it's quite shimmery too, so if you guys are too, like if you feel threatened by the shades, don't be because you can definitely use this as eyeshadows and it works really, really well like that. So this product here is the Fenty Diamond Bomb. I don't use this on my face, although you can. I use this on my body as just like body shimmer, so especially when I'm going out. Um, this is really nice just to pop a little bit on your collarbone, a little bit on your shoulders, and it just looks really pretty in photos. This is really, really nice and definitely worth the money, in my opinion, because you get... I mean, you're not going to use it too much if you just use it as body glitter, you know? Next one I have is this palette by Dior. So this is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And this one is so great. So there's four shades in here. You have a shimmery blush, a shimmery bronzer or highlighter if you have a deeper complexion and two highlighters here as well. I mainly use those two here. I usually mix them together but yeah it's it's amazing. It's just it's not too chunky which I really like. I really don't like highlighters that have chunky glitter in them. I like more of just like a reflection on the cheek. And that's what this gives me, so I really like it. Moving on from the highlighters, this is another complexion product, but it's a setting spray. This is the Cover Effects High Performance Setting Spray. And they have a few other setting sprays, but this one is my favorite so far. It's supposed to protect your skin from pollution and uh, keep your makeup on for 24 hours. I haven't had my makeup on for 24 hours, so I can't really say if it works in that way but it does help keep your makeup on for longer. This is so far my favorite setting spray probably and it keeps your face matte if that's what you're into. It doesn't make your skin look powdery but it just prevents um, any oils from seeping through throughout the day. Yeah this is definitely a winner in my eyes. Moving on to eyes I have quite a few products from this category and that's because some of you may know this I love eyeshadows. I collect eyeshadow palettes. It's my absolute favorite makeup product. First one is another Anastasia Beverly Hills product and that's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Probably not going to surprise too many of you either. I use this palette, honestly, every time I go out without a fail. I love it. It is so buildable. It is so pigmented. It just makes my makeup routine so easy because it just it's so quick and easy to work with and the shimmers as well I mean I'll swatch them to be a real beauty guru you know right there hopefully that focuses there you go it's not beautiful it's just so metallic and gorgeous and the matte shades are just as good so I'll swatch one of them for you so this is the shade 
mulberry right there and yeah it's just beautiful really really easy to blend really easy to work with this is probably one of my favorite palettes. The next palette I have is from Fenty and it's the Moroccan Spice palette. It looks like this and to be honest with you, one of the first things that made me want to buy this palette is actually the packaging. I mean, look at it. It's just so beautiful and dreamy. Dreamy? Is that weird to say? I don't know. I just really like it. I think the shadows are really, really gorgeous, especially this blue shade right here. It's called Evil Genie. It's just so gorgeous. I feel like... You know, you can have the most simple look and then just pop a little bit of that blue on your eyes and it just takes it to a whole other level. I find that this palette is probably not as pigmented as the Soft Glam, but it is buildable. So I really like it for that. It's quite easy to build up and get that color payoff you're looking for. So I have another product from Fenty and this was released at the end of last year. It's these Lip and Eye Crayons. I think I have... Which one do I have? Let's check. Okay, Frost Bunny. Frost Bunny is the one I have. I find it really weird that they don't have the name on the packaging. Um, and I don't think the name is on the crayon. No, it's not. It just has the shade names. But um, you get Parker Princess, which is like a really nice pink. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. And then you get Guava Mint, which is like a bronzy shade. And you get Banana Frost, which is like a, like a gold, like a shimmery gold, basically. Pretty simple. But it's nice. They're really, really nice and easy to work with. And it's just really easy and quick to create makeup looks with it. Today, for example, this took me, like, honestly, like, like five minutes to do. I used one of these, one of the uh, eye crayons, and then I also used the Moroccan Spice palette just in the crease. It, super quick and easy look. So yeah, I really, really recommend it. It's beautiful. So next up is actually a mascara. This is from Benefit, the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is my absolute favorite mascara of all time. It's amazing. I have the mini one here because I ran out of my big one, but I just love it. So it has like a plasticky wand, so it's really nice and separating for your lashes. It's supposed to be volumizing, but honestly, I feel like it gives more length than volume. But regardless, it's really nice and it holds the curl really, really well. The next one is another one from Fenty. Pretty simple. It's their Fly Liner. I really like this one. The only complaint I have is that I wish it was matte. So it's not matte, but it is really nice and it's really, really easy to apply. I usually have a really hard time with liquid liner because I have hooded eyes. And this is just, this just makes it so simple for me. It's really flexible. So you, it just molds to the curve of your eye. If that makes any sense, please forgive me if it doesn't, but I'm trying to explain it as best I can. It's just really, really easy to use. That's all I'm going to say. So the last eye products are actually all by Huda, and that's the Mini Obsessions palettes. So um, she came out with this one in 2018, and that's the Coral Obsessions palette. It's really, really nice and summery. I love these palettes for when you go on a holiday you know because they're so easy to pack away in your bag they're so small and there's so many shades this one i actually packed with me when i went to thailand last year and it was perfect because it has those really really tropical kind of vibrant shades and i ended up using it pretty much every day and i loved it really easy to use really blendable really pigmented the shimmers are amazing um, yeah, so definitely a favorite. The other three I have are all from Huda as well. It's these three right here. So it's the Gemstone Collection. I have the Topaz, Amethyst, and Sapphire. I hope that focuses. I honestly hope all of these were in focus just then. If not, I apologize. I've only used one of these so far and that's the amethyst one. I've used it on a client and it just, it was just really easy to work with. So um, I'm sure the other two are just as good. That's what it looks like. That's the amethyst. And you can tell I've used this shade quite a lot. I really, really like this one. It's a really nice shimmer. So I like this because it's really blendable. It's easy to build up. 
and the shadows are really really pigmented that's a winner in my book the other two are i'm sure are just as good i'm just going to show you what they look like so here we go that's sapphire and that's topaz okay guys so my camera just suddenly stopped recording so i apologize if the framing or the lighting of this video looks a little bit different to before um, I just had to go and restart it okay so moving on the last category is lips so we're almost done I don't have too many products in this category just because I'm not a huge lip products person I usually always wear the same thing whenever I go out I only have three products that I want to discuss and they're all by the same brand Fenty firstly these ones here just get them all nice for the camera. Hopefully it focuses. There we go. These are the new gloss bombs. This one at the top is Fussy and the one at the bottom is Diamond Milk. And I love them both for different reasons. This one here is very, very similar to the original Fenty Glow. So it has a really nice shimmer but it's not too much and has a very nice sheen pink hue. So it's a little bit lighter than the original which I quite like. This one on the other hand is pretty much pure glitter which is not bad so it's quite chunky but at first when I tried it on without anything I got a little bit freaked out because it was too much and it just looked like white glitter all over my lips but this works really really nicely if you layer it on top of another lipstick or a lip liner it just really makes the color pop and really makes your lips really shiny and really beautiful so i do still really really like this one the very last product i'm going to talk about is this one from fenty so this is the stana lip paint in the shade uncuffed she came out with some other ones but this one just really drew me in because i really like those rosy mauvey lipstick colors and it didn't disappoint i really really like this lipstick i picked up her very first stunner lip paint which was in uncensored the red one and i actually didn't really like it at all it was always bleeding and smudging it didn't last at all i love the shade but i just didn't like how it wore throughout the day this one on the other hand i don't know if the formula is different or maybe i just got a bad one before this stays on when you eat when you drink when you party it's really good it's really comfortable to wear as well it's not too drying even though it still gives you a matte finish so this is a really good one if you had problems with the other shade as well try this one or her other new shades that she came out with last year and i don't think you'll be disappointed Okay guys, so that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching my very first YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these types of videos, so makeup and beauty related, please subscribe for more and support this channel. It would mean so much to me. Also, if you're not already, please follow my Instagram account if you'd like to see more of my makeup looks. The username will be down in the description below. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!